So if you want to take a random break during the class session, I've created these Google Slides. So what you're going to want to do is make a copy of these slides. The code is in the slides and it's with all of my stuff. It does take about a minute for the code to load. So go ahead and let that load up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to leave it in edit mode just like this. You don't want to click the present button because when you go to present, it's actually static. Any changes made will not show up in the presentation until you refresh. So what's going to happen is when it's time to take a break, a new slide is going to be added to the top of this presentation that you could be projecting and people could see, oh, it's time to take a break. Okay, so I'm going to go to either this menu, random break, or you can go to the add-ons menu and it'll say random break. And again, it does take about a minute for this to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and authorize. You'll always have to authorize. You've made a copy and when you make a copy, obviously that copy is fresh code to you and that code has not been submitted to Google. So it's going to give you a warning hey, this hasn't been submitted to Google, and that is exactly right. You copied it and, and you didn't submit it to Google. So when it tells you that, that's obvious. So go ahead and put down that you want to do advanced, and then you just click on save and just saying Google didn't look at your code, which you didn't submit it to them, so that's why. So after you have authorized it, you're going to go to add-ons, go to random break, and you're going to set it. So I'm going to set it. So say I have a 45 minute class period. So I set it for 45 minutes. Now what's going to happen is three times, three times during the class period, it's going to randomly add a slide to this Google Slides to let you know that it's time to take a break. Okay. And nothing happens because I have 45 minutes for it to randomly choose a time to add a slide. So if you want to, you can manually take a break. So you can go up to the random break menu or from the add-ons menu, same thing and choose break now. So I'm going to break now and it takes a break and every time that it adds a slide it picks a random color. Makes it a little bit easier. So my first break here is at 817 and then I'm going to do it again. We're going to break now and you can see it come up with a different color. Now these would happen automatically. They're already set to happen automatically. I have used the menu. I've used set and when I set it, I set it for that 45 minutes. And at some point, another one is going to just show up. Actually, it's going to happen three times over the 45-minute period. But if you want to do a manual one, like you're ready for a break, you can do break now. It doesn't interrupt or stop the other one from doing a break. So those are still coming. And so then I can do this again, you know, later, just set it again. I'm like, oh, well, here's a 38-minute period. So sometime over the next 38 minutes, I would expect for three slides to be added, letting me know that it's time to take a break, each with a random color. Now you don't have to authorize more than once. So you notice when you go to the, the add-ons menu, go to random break, it says authorize. I've already authorized, so it'll say add-on is authorized. You won't have to do it again. So what you could do is just delete those so you're all fresh and ready to go, and then uh, go ahead and hit set, set it for the new time, and then you will be able to do breaks and keep using the same slides over and over again.